Hello everybody, it's Everall Tool 4 for another episode of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. In the last episode we went through the sewers and we found the Thousand Year Door and uh, powered up our map and showed us where we go, where we had to go next and that was Petal Meadows. But before we do that, I want to have speaks with this guy. Well, 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 hold up now. No, no, I can take you. What? You gotta be kidding. You think you can fight your way through here? I'm gonna make you eat your words, tough guy. Let's get this party started! I'm sorry, let's get this party started. So, this guy is tough. <laughs> um, first of all, no. We literally just started, you jerk. Uh, this guy has 20 health, so I'm not gonna put Gumbella in front because I won't kill him that way. But now that we have Power Smash and uh, Sweet Treat, I think that we'll be able to take him. I wasn't even paying attention. Great. Anyway. Ow, I forgot to dodge there. Unfortunately, it does hurt when that happens, but we did do a nice amount of damage. Let's tattle him. That's Gus. He's super annoying and tries to take tolls from everyone. Max HP is 20 and attack is 3. Defense is 0. All in all, he's pretty tough. Oh, and I've told you a million times, that pointy spear, this pointy spear of his hurts if you stomp on it. I wonder if this guy watches people pass 365 days a year. Talk about a workaholic. Yeah, so he's going to be doing a lot of damage. I'm going to be having Goombella mainly on healing duty because, obviously, she can't jump on him. Uh, but she can use items like the Fire Flower. Honey syrup might be a good idea, but we do have Sweet Treat, as I said, so there's that. That's what we're going to be using next turn. And we're going to have Goombella heal us as well. Huh, that hurt. Uh, that hurt, you have no chance of beating me, trust me, you better run. Yeah, if you don't seriously, it'll be game over for you. You can just choose to run from your tactics menu, sometimes it's best to run. It's easier to run, replacing this pain with something more. It's so much easier to go And face all this pain here all alone But no We have, yeah, so if you That's essentially, oops, that's essentially a warning if you start fighting this guy before you had options like this But we have options like this Uh, can Goombella? Yeah, Goombella can appeal, so I'm just gonna have her, that's gonna be her dedicated uh, her dedicated uh, command there while I beat him up with Power Smash again. That's pretty much how it goes. It's it's actually once you once you get Power Smash uh, and and Sweet Treat, it's a really simple fight. <laughs> Yeah, look at that. Look how stylish I am. And once you beat him up, you never have to deal with him again. Crud! All you dumb video game heroes always pull this stuff. It's ridiculous! You think violence solves everything? Don't you, huh? Don't you! Yes, yes I do. This East Rogue Port is the tariff of Ishni on this crew of Rabos. East side's all run down. You can't even tell if these buildings are vacant or not. If you're down here, you darn well better have a compelling reason to be here. Ah, uh, this... It's locked on the inside. Yeah, this place is actually completely pointless right now, but I wanted to do this. Travel Center is the only place on the east side that other folk, uh, townspeople come to. If the place is open when you're in the neighborhood, you should drop in. Travel Center... And that's locked. So, again, there's nothing for us to do here now. We're going to have to come here eventually. But I wanted to take care of it now because I can... A uh, good idea now would probably be to go to heal, and I think that that store that said it was closed might be open now. We'll see. We'll talk to these guys later as well. They're just seafaring people. Welcome. Yeah, this only costs five coins, so you may as well enjoy your stay. Did you sleep well? Yay! Oh, where in the world could the princess have gotten to? 
I don't know. Uh, so let's see if this door is open. Otherwise, we're just gonna head right for the... Yeah, see, now this is open. This is actually a bad shop. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Feel free to look around. That's the lovely manager... Uh, the, the badge manager at the lovely house of ma badges. Lovely house. House of mouths. Uh, for a manager, she sure has gone from the store a lot. Where do you think she goes? The shop's small, but it's totally adorable. She really knows how to decorate. That's the badge clerk that works part-time at the lovely house of badges. Sounds like he really wants to open his own badge shop one day. I think he's using this job to learn about business. Talk about motivation. A big welcome to you. Welcome to the lovely house of badges. Welcome! So what can I do? I'm buying uh, special deals. If you're looking for special deals, or find them on that shelf. Otherwise, send them for the badge you want to press A. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Feel free to look around. All right, so we have a simplifier that makes Ashen commands easy, but uh, you get less experience, I think. Star power, or maybe maybe you just get less uh, star stuff. Not experience, not star points. Uh, super appeal is a badge you can equip that when Mario uses appeal, you get a lot more uh, influence. Last stand is probably something I want to get because when you're in danger, you get half damage. Piercing Blow is really great because it ignores defense and Happy Flower slowly and automatically restores FP during battle. Unfortunately, it costs a lot of BP, so we're not going to be getting that right now, but, um, yeah, I think I, I'm going to get both of these because why not? Let's see if Piercing Blow, uh, Piercing Blow might be two. Oh, uh, no, it's one. Nice. Okay, cool. We can get all that. We're officially overpowered now. <laughs> uh, also, the bad shop isn't going to get, uh, not the bad shop, the regular shop is not going to get that contact lens in until you beat chapter one. So, yeah. You're, you just, there's no, there's no point in trying to wait or anything, but let's get down here and let's get down to business and explore the sewers. Uh, now that we have airplane power, we can use our airplane power. Mainly right over here. So I think there's an enemy down there. Yeah, there's a spike Goomba down there, but we don't care. Uh, we're good. We go over here. Hmm. That thing's kind of soggy. It seems to be almost inviting us to do something, doesn't it? But what? You could jump on it, but you totally ruined that your shoes. So I'd just hammer it. Okay. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Ouch, that hurt. Uh-oh. <laughs> Blooper! Oh, man. When I first played this game, I was like, yes! <laughs> Blooper! Uh, the Scourge of the Toad Town Sewers blooper. Unfortunately, this game only has one blooper. We don't have Electro Blooper and Super Blooper, but he kind of is Super Blooper. But yeah, we got a mini boss fight. Blue, 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 blue. Who just happened to whack someone's tootsies like that? Blue, blue, blue. Someone with some serious moxie, that's who. Blue, 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 blue. Would you look at that? It's some saucy mustache guy. Blue, 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 blue. He's in a world of hurt. <laughs> so, Blooper has two modes of attack. Bloop, 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 bloop. I'll give him a taste of the old tentacle trample. Hey, Mario, you remember what Professor Frankly told us, right? You can press Y to change your attack order. If your HP drops, you can press Y to put me in front. Yeah, you can't flee this fight because it's a boss fight. Ah, uh, but yeah, there's two ways to attack him. Uh, you can jump on right tentacle or jump or use hammer on left tentacle. Thankfully, it's either way. Us, we're gonna be using Power Smash. He doesn't have any, uh... <laughs> he doesn't have any, um... Uh, defense, so it doesn't matter. That's a blooper, and a really super humongous one, too. Ew, it's all slimy! I totally can't stand slimy, nasty, icky things! G-R-O-S-S, -S, gross! Max HP is 12, attack is 1, defense is 0, it attacks with tentacles and ink. Once you damage both its tentacles, it'll fall down, and then it's attack time! By the way, the tentacles each have 3 HP. Now relax and how uh, relax and house on that? House? I don't... Is that a fright? House on him? I don't know. House on that slimy, nasty blooper! 
Blah, 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 hey, mustache. Blah, 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 blah. You think you had taste good, aren't you? Wait a minute. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, you want to snack on these tentacles. You darn bloopin'. Ew, no, I'd rather bloop. Blah, 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 blah. Gutless punk. <laughs> Alright, so let's just jump on this. And have you destroy it. And that makes him fall and gives us a turn to use Power Smash again. <laughs> and you can. Look at this guy, he's adorable! So, uh, I think he's still going to be on the ground for this round. Ow. But yeah, this blooper is definitely easier than pretty much any other blooper we've fought in, a, in a Paper Mario, so um, it's kind of sad that he's the only one. As far as I remember, like I said, he's the only like blooper boss, but it's a good throwback. I, I like it a lot. And we're almost up to a level up already. I mean, as a first, like, real mini-boss outside of, uh, what's-his-face that we fought in the first episode, um, he's pretty good, but we just fought, uh, Gus, or whatever his name was, so... Yeah, it's kind of, kind of nothing. And he leaves. Oh, hey! Platforms! Yeah, so beating him up gets us platforms. Looks like a seawater's found its way in here, huh? Yeah, that's a hell hazard. Bit some weird sea things living here too, so trying to fall in the water. Well, there's a pipe here that connects to Petal Meadows. Let's fall in the water! Yeah, when you fall in the water, that's what happens. <laughs> Large, chompy fish that take off one health. Uh, and those things, let me tell you, they are literally everywhere. If there is a body of water, bye, they will be there. No exceptions! <laughs> It's scary. There's a house back there, but there's no way for us to get to it, so let's go down here. Chapter 1 Castle and Dragon. Mmm, that Petal Meadows music! Well, here we are, Petal Meadows, where folks say a crystal star hides. Woohoo! Here we go, Mario! The start of our own adventure! This is completely awesome! Sweet! Let's hit stuff! Oh, hey. Cool. Let's hit more stuff! Oh, cool. <laughs> I love that this also looks like a different type of uh, pipe. Whoa. Whoa, what was that? Whoa! Is that a. Wow, Mario, look! Kind of reminds me of uh, Yoshi's Island when, or Yoshi's Story when they take uh, take a Yoshi back to the castle. Totally incredible! I've never seen anything that humongous before. It looks kind of scary too. Weird. Professor Frankly, frankly said this place was peaceful. Wow, crazy! We just started and already there's intrigue. Come, Mario, let's go. All right, what's this? I don't know. This looks like a pipe, but there's nothing you can do about it because it's kind of a giant rock. Oh well. And we get more mushrooms here. Right. Nothing from there. And these things that were by um, Koopa Village in the first game. Man, this music! Hello! <laughs> oh. I was gonna say, oh, Gumbel's not gonna have much to do, but uh, no, she'll, she'll be fine because. We just get another attack now! Yay. 
getting really close to that level up, which is good because we're about out of um, FP and all that. <laughs> uh, these red blocks give you badges! Another close call badge, so we can actually... A less than uh, drops damage and close call sometimes causes enemies to miss. So I think I'm actually going to put that on. Because Piercing Blow has a use right now, but... I think it's better to have Power Smash and Close Call and Last Stand. But, yeah. You hit him with the back of the hammer. I'm honestly not sure. Hey, Luigi's in the audience. Yeah, sometimes he shows up there. It's kind of funny. I'm not sure how I'm going to do the leveling up in this game. I'm probably going to focus on BP and FP and increase HP every so often, but we'll see. I figure I'd cut out extraneous battles as well, um, but we are going to be leveling up in the next battle, so we'll keep that one in. Uh, there's no way for us to get to that happy heart badge, you know, like we had the happy flower badge last time, uh, so let's just ignore it for now. Oh, one more thing, Mario. If you ever find yourself, like, wondering what to do, just press X and use my tail ability, okay? I might be able to look up some useful info that'll help us on our adventure. Alright. Like, here, where we're fighting an enemy that will hopefully let us level up. Oh, definitely. Hey, you have an item. There's actually a lot of you guys, wow. Um... No, I can't. Uh, fine. Let's... Let's use the head bonk again! Let's get rid of most of them anyway. Bah, 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 bah. Fine, you just ignore Kumbella. And now... Since we have reached 100 points! Um, definitely going for FP first because those moves are really useful. Like I said, I think HP is probably the least useful of the level up options, but it's really hard to play this game the wrong way. Anyway, we just press that and we can come down here now. I just want to make sure that. I want to see first if there's anything this way, because sometimes there is. I don't think there is this time, though. No. Sometimes there's like a little item in the background or something. Look at those clouds, they're beautiful. I love this too. It's like a flip book, you know? It's just, it's really creative. It's a really creative way to put that there. There we go, this is what I was thinking of. Do, 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 do. This, this game's aesthetic is just so wonderful. It really is. Mystery. Nice. Who knows what it does? Fireflower there. Coin? No, nothing. Okay. And through here. Petal Bird! What awaits us in the idyllic town of Petal Bird with its amazing music? Welcome, travelers! Huh? Where are you at? Why, this is Petalburg. Sorry, this Petalburg. It's been a long time since we had visitors here. We're kind of remote. Yippity. <laughs> and I'm sorry. Yippity. Once the flying, once the dragon hooktail spotted flying around this area. Well, it didn't help tourism, but that way people have stopped visiting. Dragon hooktail. That must have been a huge. That must have been the huge thing we saw earlier, Mario. So it's called hooktail, huh? Oh, scary name. <laughs> So anyway, Green Boots, have you ever heard of these things called Crystal Stars? We're on a quest for them, it's very important. Crystal Stars, you say? Hmm, no, can't say I have. Sorry about that. Uh, you might want to speak with the mayor, though. He's old. Really, really old. 
As such, he knows all kinds of stuff we don't. Koopas of his age are uh, really smart. Anyway, the mayor lives in the pink house up ahead. You should go check it out. A pink house? Sounds totally hideous, but it should be easy to find. Thanks for your help. Alright, but we are going to, as I said, explore the town of Petalburg. Oh, it's one of you guys, a little bubble. In the next episodes, thank you all very much for watching. <laughs> this has been several Soul before with plain GBA games like Fire Emblem. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye.